Chapter 7 The door opens. There is a lady with the green robe. First years. This is Professor McConagall, says Hagrid. Thank you, Hagrid, says Professor McConagall. Now, Professor McConagall is walking in front of every student. Hogwarts is really amazing place. Soon, they enter the Great Hall. Welcome to Hogwarts, says Professor McConagall. Soon, we will choose your houses. When you are at Hogwarts, your house is like your family. You will study with your house members. You will sleep in the same dormitory. And you will spend your free time together. There are four houses, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin. All houses have their great history, and all houses have their great witches and wizards. When you are at Hogwarts, you can earn points for your house or lose points from your house. At the end of the year, the house with the most points will win the house cup. I wish you all the best. We will choose your house soon, says Professor McGonagall. I will come back when you are ready. How are they going to choose us? I think it's going to be a test, says Ron. Fred said it hurt a lot, but I think he lied. Harry is really nervous now. He was never so nervous like this before. How is he going to take the test in front of all the students? He doesn't know any magic. Then something happens. A lot of students suddenly shout because many ghosts are flying around. They are talking to each other. Professor McGonagall comes back. Now, stand in the line, says she. Harry quickly stands behind one boy. Ron is standing behind him. Professor McGonagall brings a chair in front of the students. There is a hat on the chair. Harry thinks that maybe students have to bring a rabbit out of this hat. Suddenly, the hat starts speaking. It says, I will choose your house. Gryffindor is for brave students. Hufflepuff is for loyal friends, Ravenclaw is for smart ones, and Slytherin is for ambitious wizards. Now, everyone is clapping their hands. Ron says, I think we're just going to wear this hat. When I call your name, you will wear this hat and sit on this chair, says Professor McGonagall. Abba Hannah, a girl with a pink face, goes and wears a hat. Hufflepuff shouts the hat. After the hat chooses many students their houses, Professor McGonagall says, Hermione Granger. When Hermione wears the hat, hat quickly shouts, Gryffindor. Harry is afraid now. What's going to happen if the hat doesn't choose any house for Harry? He thinks that probably he has to go home. The hat chooses Gryffindor for Neville and Slytherin for Malfoy. Now, Professor McGonagall shouts, Harry Potter. When Harry is going to the chair, Everyone starts talking. Potter, did you say? Harry Potter? Now Harry's wearing the hat. Hmm, says the hat quietly. Very difficult. You're brave and smart. Where should I put you? Harry says in his head, not Slytherin, not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, says the hat. Are you sure? Then Gryffindor, shouts the hat. Everyone in the Gryffindor table is shouting. Weasley twins are shouting, We got Potter, we got Potter. Harry slowly walks to the table and sits down. Harry sees Hagrid and Hagrid is smiling at him. Harry sees the old man with long beard and realizes that he is Albus Dumbledore. Harry also sees Professor Quirrell. Now, Ron is wearing the hat. The hat shouts, Gryffindor. Harry claps his hands happily. Ron comes and sits next to him. Albus Dumbledore stands up now. Welcome to a new year at Hogwarts, he says. Now, let's have dinner. When he says it, the tables are full of food. There was no food only a few seconds ago. Harry never saw so much food before. Now he wants to eat everything. When he's eating food, one ghost comes and introduces himself. My name is Sir Nicholas Porpington, the ghost says. People call me Nearly Headless Nick. I'm the ghost of Gryffindor House. Hello to all new Gryffindors. I hope you'll get as many points this year. Slytherin won the house cup last six years. When students finish their food, food suddenly disappears. Harry is feeling sleepy now. He looks at the teachers again. 
Hagrid is drinking wine, and Professor McGonagall is speaking to Albus Dumbledore. Professor Quirrell is speaking to a teacher with black long hair. Suddenly, the teacher with black hair looks at Harry's eyes. Ouch! Harry touches his forehead because his scar is hurting now. The pain soon goes away. Harry thinks that the teacher with black hair doesn't like him. Who's that teacher? He's talking to Professor Quirrell. Harry asks Percy. Oh, you already know Quirrell, says Percy. He's talking to Professor Snape. He teaches potions. Now Professor Dumbledore stands up again. I have few things to tell you, says Dumbledore. First years can't go to the forest. Some of our older students should remember that too. Dumbledore looks at the twins and smiles. You can use magic in the school corridor. Also, all students can't go to the right corridor in the third floor. If you don't want to die painfully, don't go there. Is it serious? Harry asks Percy. It's strange, Percy says. He usually gives us reasons. You don't go to the forest because it's full of dangerous animals. I don't do anything about the corridor in the third floor. Now, everyone is going out of the great hall. Gryffindor first years are following Percy. Harry is so tired and sleepy. He wants to go to sleep quickly. Suddenly, someone shouts, It's a ghost! Go away, Peeves! Percy says to the ghost. Soon, they reach the door. There is a very fat lady with a pink dress. Password, asks she. Caput draconis, says Percy, and the door opens. Girls go to one side and boys go to another side. Great food, says Ron. Harry agrees with Ron. It was great. Soon, they both fall asleep.